Good evening and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 3, Lesson 37. and We're making the transition from, from doing four partial products to using more of a standard algorithm, which is just two partial products when we do two-digit by two-digit multiplication. So let's take a look at a couple of problems today that will demonstrate how we're doing that work. First problem we're going to look at is problem number two. Let's read that together. We are going to solve using four partial products and two partial products. In other words, we're going to do this sort of one way with four partial products and again with two. Remember to think in terms of units as you solve. Write an expression to find the area of each smaller rectangle in the area model. So let's take a look at yesterday when we worked on uh, lesson number 36, we did four partial products. So let's take a look at that first. When we did that, we would look at our partial products. We would break down 82 into 80 and 2 and break down 41 into 40 and 1. And then we would take each of the four partial products. Let's see how that would actually work. Let's see. First, we had the two ones times 1. So two ones times 1 is simply 2. And we found that here, right? That's two ones times 1. Next thing we would do is we would multiply the 2 times the 4 tenths, which we did here in the area model, 2 times the 4 tenths. Let's see, 2 times 4 is 8, but it's 8 tenths, so that's 80. That's what we had over here. Next up, we had uh, 2, I'm sorry, we had 80, 8 tenths, times 1. Well, 8 tenths times 1 we had over here, right? 8 tenths times 1, well, 80 times 1, that's real simple, that's just 80. And we had that over here, right? 80. And finally, our last piece, we had 8 tens times 4 tens, and 8 tens times 4 tens, well, 8 times 4 is 32, and 10 times 10 is 100, so that's 3,200. We have that up here, 3,200. Awesome. We can add those up. Let's see, our 1s, that's 2, plus 0, plus 0, plus 0, that's simply 2. Next up, we've got our 10s, 8 plus 8, that's 16 tens, so 6 goes here, and then 1 goes up here. And that 1 plus 2 gives us 300s, and we only have the 3,000s. So that's how we would solve it with four partial products. Another way of thinking of this problem, though, is we could think about sort of adding, leaving this alone, right? Leaving this as 41, which is what they've done over here. So in other words, break the 8, the 80, and the 2 apart, but leave the 41 alone. And so then we only have to do two multiplication problems. We have to do two ones times 41. And we can do that in our head, perhaps. 2 ones times 41, we could double both of those numbers. Let's see, that would be 82, right? And then the next thing we would do is we would take the 80 times 41. So in other words, 8 times 41. And we could do that little problem on the side. But remember, we've got 10s this time, so we're going to have, let's see, a 0, because we've got to get out to 10s. 8 times 1 is 8. And then 8 times 4 is 32. So that's how that would work, right? So we would say this is 82. And this is 3,280. And then we would go ahead and add those two partial products together, right? That's 2 plus 0 is 2. We've got the tens. We've got the 8 plus 8, 16 tens, 6, okay, 1. And then we've got 1 plus 2 is 3, and simply the 3,000. So we end up with the same thing. But this time, instead of having four partial products, where we've done each one of these in turn, we've kind of simplified so that we're doing each of those uh, each of these parts of the 82 times just the 41 all in one step. So we can do that. And if we look at our next problem, we'll see the way that we think about that kind of a problem without using um, the area model. We're, gonna just, we're just going to visualize the area model this time and see how that works for us. Okay, so let's take a look at the problem. The problem says 49 times 33. 49 times 33. Well, we can think of this as two separate problems, right? We can think of this as, as breaking it down, right, into uh, 3 times 49 and 30 times 49. So we can actually kind of write those on the side, right? We'll just say, well, this is the same as, I'm going to switch to red here. This, we could say this is like 3 times 49, and then we could see this other part is the 30 times 49, so we'll do that 30 times 49. We could think about it that way. And we could even do the math for that off to the side. We could say, well, 49 times 3. We don't know how to do that. Let's see, 9 times 3 is 27. So 7 goes here, and the 2 is in the tens place. Let's see, 3 times 4 tens is 12 tens, plus 2 more tens is 14 tens. 
So we could say, well, 3 times 49, that's easy. That's 147. Good enough. And then we could take this problem, and we could do this problem separately as well, right? We could do 49 times 30, right? Let's see. Let's see. We've got 3 times 7 is... Now we've got 3 times 7. That's 27. So 7 goes here, and the 2 goes up there. And let's see, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 more is 14. And so 30 times 49 is 1,470. And then we could add those two partial products together. So that's 7 plus 0 is 7. We've got 4 tens plus 7 tens is 11 tens. So there's 1 here and 1 here. That gives us 1 plus 1 plus 4 in the hundreds column, or 6. And we only have 1 left in the thousands column. So that gives us an answer of 1,617 if we do these problems as two sort of little mini problems, the two partial products of 3 times 49 and 30 times 49, as we've got here. Excellent. Well, I hope that's helpful in solving this using what is truly the standard algorithm for multiplication, and I'll see you again next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems.